Um, Peter, thanks very much for your time today. I think it's always good to um, get uh, a hearing from, from the seller like yourself. Yep. So, um, if you don't mind, so, no, um, so how long have you lived here? I bought this about eight years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember, you know, in my mid twenties, walking around uh, here, thinking to myself, oh, one day, one day, and uh, lucky enough to come across uh, this. And uh, they don't come up very often. No, and, they don't. Uh, I jumped on it, and yes. um, you know, as I say, very pleased as well. Excellent. Okay. And um, so, what have you enjoyed living most about here? Well, I think the key thing is that the location is as good as really I think you can get. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's basically at the top of Palmyra Square, which is just through the park. You have a massive bus terminal, which hub, which you can get anywhere you want to get. Mm -hmm. You've got all the shops. You have lovely little pubs, great little tavernas. Delhi's, I mean, you've got such a wide range of, of things. You can walk into Brighton in seven, eight minutes. Yeah. Um, and then you have the view. So um, fundamentally, you know, you're ever, forever drawn to the view, which, mm. is, which is changing. But I think, you know, for me, it was about location. And it was also really related to the fact that I just wanted to have a, a beautiful view and yeah. space. And, um, you know, it, it's forever changing. I mean, it's, it's yeah. addictive. I've so, Sat here to be perfectly honest with you for hundreds of hours, <laughs> not just with wine, but with the yes, old coffee yes, as well. Yes, yes, absolutely. I mean, would you say that's probably one of the best features of the flat is sort of having the view and, and sitting here? It, it is. I mean, I also really enjoy um, coming and going to the property. So as you walk down the down Adelaide uh, Crescent, you have that beautiful sweeping building. I mean, it's just magnificent. I mean, it's fun. You know, the same architect that mm. that uh, did a lot of work in in the, the best areas in London. And so, just to open the door and go up the staircase, and I mean, every time I go up and down, I think, so oh, this is just lovely. Yes, I yeah. do enjoy that. So I can turn left to the sea and the Hove Lawn, yeah. so I can turn right and pop up the road to the shops or across the park. Perfect. So I don't know if you can see this on camera, but you'll certainly be able to tell from, from the photos, but they sometimes call it a stone throw from the beach, where I think you could probably quite literally throw a stone from here to the beach. Yes, so. it, it is lovely. I, and I, and I, on many occasions I've taken a hot cup of tea down and uh, you know sat, sat on the beach and thought yes, to myself, yes, this yes, is yes. as good as it gets really. Fantastic. Wonderful. So in your eight years here, what, what improvements have you done? Oh, considerable. When I bought this property, um, I think it would be fair to say it had been neglected. Mm -hmm. And um, I completely refurbished it. So I brought a, a company in. At the time I was working uh, away and uh, I, my bank account was looking quite quite good at the time. So I basically uh, put in heated floors in the kitchen and the bathroom, yes. uh, a new bathroom, new kitchen, new heating system, uh, flooring and they're really, I mean, uh, it's hi highly specified, you know, yes. spec as well. So I, I spent a lot of time, I had plans drawn up. Mm -hmm. So the council came came along and they had all that approved and I've had that signed off and by the grade two listing. So it was minor alterations, mm. um, uh, an extra toilet and facility, um, but the, the place looks completely different than uh, than it did. And I, you know, as I say, I, if you're going to live somewhere, you want to live somewhere that you like, you Absolutely. might as well get it as you want it. Yes, and I don't course. think I would have changed anything looking back on it now. I'm very pleased the way it's worked out. Superb. Okay. And your neighbours, how are they? Super, they're coming down for drinks, and I think next Thursday again. Right. So, um, you know, there's, there's no problems on that at all. We occasionally pass each other on the stairs. Mm -hmm. um, we maintain our contact because um, being a share of freehold here, yeah. there's five of us um, in this beautiful old building. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, you know, when things need to be done, we'll, we'll share the load a little bit, you know, whether it's, um, you know, fire alarm services yes, or whatever yeah, yeah. it might be. So we do have some regular contact. Yeah, they're, you know, they're, they're great. And um, you know, as I say, it's, mm. it's a very comfortable place to be. Good. And the lease on this is very, very long? Yes, I had it extended. So <clears throat> it's probably 995 years now. I so it was about four five. years ago and with share of freehold. Brilliant. Yeah. And your monthly outgoing, how much you're contributing? Yeah, well we have a company that we set up mm -hmm. um, so we don't employ a managing 
company. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't think that was necessary. Um, so uh, it's £150 per calendar month. Yes. So we all pay that into a bank account. Mm -hmm. So if, and that soon builds up. So if the house needs painting or the, we need a new alarm panel yes, or yes. Um, some repairs or maintenance, uh, that's the bank account that, uh, that we use. Excellent. Okay. One last question. So you've got this beautiful home. Mm. How come you're selling? Well, that's a very good question. I'd never expected that I'd find myself in this situation, but um, having immigrated to New Zealand about 25 years ago, um, my children were brought up there, and uh, I was hoping that they might follow me back. But they're in their mid to late 20s now, they're established, they have careers, they've been over to England a number of times. I think it very, very unlikely that they'll return. So okay. um, the fact that I haven't seen them for three years yes. because of COVID and various yes, other yes, yes. scenarios, uh, it's time for me now to, to step up and uh, make my way back to New Zealand. So Fine. it's just no point in holding okay. on to this beautiful place yeah. because um, it's just not going to be utilised properly. It's, it's a tough decision to Yeah, honest. no, I'm sure. Okay. So I suppose last thing, so would I be saying that this is effectively chain free so you don't have to buy anywhere? No, yes, no, this right. is cha you know, chain free and as I say I'm not in a particular rush but no. I, I will um, you know, start thinking about um, you know, buying myself a, a property in New Zealand at a later no stage problem. but uh, I'm going out there for a month shortly. Yep. Just to have a look around, yes. catch up with my sons anyway, um, but I, you know, as I say I've worked overseas okay. for a number of years and um, miss them fundamentally. Course, yes, yeah. So um, you know, if they have families of their own, I'd like to be very much part of that. Of so it's, it's time for me to make a move and go back. Fine. All right. Thank you very much. That's a pleasure. Peter. Thank you. So there you go, guys. Um, please do let me know uh, or to give me a call to arrange a viewing, and uh, I'd be glad to show you around, and uh, we can go from there. Absolutely. Okay. Right. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Peter. Thanks, Russell.